Breaking news this morning is that Ukraine is banning Russian men from entering the country. President Petro Poroshenko said he wanted to prevent the formation of private armies and a repeat of what happened in 2014 when Russia seized Crimea and supported a rebel uprising in eastern Ukraine. Uh, let's get the very latest on this with our correspondent Jonah Fisher, who's in Kiev. Uh, Jonah, hello to you. So President Poroshenko, this concern that he has about the formation of private armies, how, how real is that concern? Well, as you mentioned there, President Poroshenko referred back to what had happened in 2014 when uh, the so-called little green men were involved in the seizure of Crimea uh, and then Russia backed rebel groups in eastern Ukraine. So what he is saying in this move, which will affect uh, Russian men aged between, the age, aged between 16 and 60 who want to enter Ukraine, he is saying that that move is being taken, as you said, to stop the formation of private armies, effectively to stop a repeat uh, of what happened uh, four and a half years ago uh, when uh, Russia effectively managed to, to start this war in eastern Ukraine uh, by arming and equipping rebel groups uh, and to take, uh, take Crimea effectively by sending in uh, its own soldiers uh, without uniforms and effectively take over Crimea. Does it amount to, to a ban on, on men aged between 16 and, and 60? Because I saw, I read something a little earlier saying that Russian men could still enter if it was for humanitarian reasons. Yeah, we only heard about this about an hour or so ago, and it came as something of a surprise. So the details will still have to be worked out and be made clear. But certainly in the statement that's come from the president's office, not a mention of, that, of those humanitarian reasons. Uh, there had been some comment that perhaps if someone had to come across the border for a funeral, that that, that might be allowed. But it is a move that will affect a lot of people, particularly in the eastern part of Ukraine, where uh, lots of people live uh, on one side of the border and may cross fairly regularly. People who have families on the other side of the border with Christmas coming up. Obviously, uh, this would be a time when families might be thinking about coming together. That will no longer be possible uh, inside Ukraine if people want to cross uh, from Russia into Ukraine. So it's a move that could have pretty serious implications. It is also a move that sends a message both internationally uh, and here domestically uh, that the president believes that this is a very serious situation that Ukraine is in and what he's been talking about almost uh, without break this week is that he believes and he has information that Russia is preparing for a war, a possible invasion of Ukraine uh, and that this country needs to get ready. And what initial reaction have you heard to this Jonah, uh, especially of course from Moscow? Well, from what I've been seeing from Moscow, it seems like there will not be reciprocal measures. That was, of course, one possibility that they would immediately uh, prevent Ukrainians traveling to Russia. From what we've seen this morning, that won't be happening. Russia is again repeating what it's been saying throughout this week, that this, uh, th this talk of invasion, the talk from uh, President Poroshenko that this is all a precursor uh, to war. Well, that is not about Ukrainian-Russian relations, that it's much more to do with the domestic political situation here in Ukraine. The president has an election coming up in four months' time. He's doing very badly in the opinion polls. Uh, and the, the line from Russia is that this is all a political ploy on President Poroshenko's part, uh, talking up the possibility of war with Russia to try and improve his own pretty dismal standings in opinion polls here. Okay, Jonah, thank you for that update. Jonah Fisher in Kiev.